Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the top 10 beaches of 2023 in Australia as revealed by Tourism Australia. But before that, do you know that there are nearly 12,000 beaches in Australia and one is crowned the best in the nation every year by Tourism Australia. This year, top 10 list features at least one in every state. The list was curated by expert Brad Farmer, who travels to beaches across the country and every beach that made the list was not just among the best in Australia, but the best in the world. Australia boasts the world's best coastline and many international travellers who travel would like to know which are these beaches. According to Brad Farmer, the beach expert who compiled the list of Tourism Australia, the criteria for selecting the best beaches of 2023 are based on the following factors. The quality and the condition of the beach and its surrounding environment. The accessibility and availability of facilities and services. The diversity and uniqueness of the beach and its features. The community and cultural significance of the beach and its history. The vibe and atmosphere of the beach and its visitors. He also says that he tries to include a wide range of beaches from different regions and states, as well as beaches that are significant for various reasons such as conservation, recreation or education. He says that he visits and swims at every beach he reviews and talks to the locals to get a feel for them. He added that he's not just looking for the most popular or crowded beach, but rather the one that has a special charm and appeal. So, let's get started. Number 10. Balmoral Beach, New South Wales Balmoral Beach is a family-friendly beach located in Sydney's Lower North Shore. It has a long stretch of sand and a curved tidal pool that is perfect for swimming and snorkeling. The waters at Balmoral Beach may be as calm as those of an indoor pool, but they have all the benefits of being part of the ocean, so you can still go snorkeling, kayaking, stand-up paddleboarding and sailing. The middle area of the beach is graced with a classic footbridge across the sand to a tree-covered outcrop. A section is protected by a shark net. Head to the northern tip of the beach where you'll find a small shady park behind an old club building. From here, a short walk through the streets or around the rocks will take you to the Cinnamon Beach. Number 9. Flying Fish Cove, Christmas Island Mr. Farmer said that it was a conscious decision to include a diverse range of beaches from across the country, including Flying Fish Cove on Christmas Island, which many people don't know is a part of Australia. Flying Fish Cove is the main settlement and port of Christmas Island, a remote Australian territory in the Indian Ocean. It is a tropical paradise with clear blue waters, coral reefs and lush rainforests. Flying Fish Cove is also a hotspot for wildlife flowers as it hosts millions of red crabs that migrate to the sea every year to breed. Another amazing sight at Flying Fish Cove is the annual whale shark migration, which occurs between November and April. You can swim with these gentle giants and marvel at their size and beauty. Number 8. British Admiral Beach, King Island British Admiral Beach is a secluded and rugged beach on King Island, an island off the coast of Tasmania. It is named after the British Admiral Shipwreck, which sank near the shore in 1874. The beach is known for its strong waves and winds, which make it ideal for surfing and kite surfing. British Admiral Beach is also a great place to explore the history and culture of King Island, which has a rich heritage of shipwrecks, lighthouses, cheese making and kelp harvesting. Number 7. Little Bondi Northern Territory Little Bondi is a hidden gem in East Arnhem Land, a remote region in the Northern Territory. It is a small and secluded beach with white sand and turquoise water, surrounded by rocky cliffs and bushland. Little Bondi is part of a traditional land of the indigenous people. You can learn about the culture and history at the nearby Yirkhala Community and Art Centre where you can see some of the amazing paintings and sculptures. Number 6. Hemlin Bay, Western Australia Hemlin Bay is a scenic bay on the southwest coast of Western Australia. It has a long and wide beach with soft sand and clear water, idle for swimming, fishing and kayaking. 
Hamlin Bay is also famous for its friendly stingrays, which often come close to the shore to greet visitors. You can feed them by hand or watch them glide through the water. Hamlin Bay is also a historic site, as it was once a busy port for timber exports in the late 1800s and early 1900s. You can still see some of the old jetty remains and railway tracks along the beach. Number 5. Adventure Bay, Tasmania Adventure Bay is a charming bay on Bruni Island, an island off the southeast coast of Tasmania. It has a calm and sheltered beach with golden sand and blue water, perfect for relaxing and enjoying the views. Adventure Bay is also a place of adventure as it offers many activities such as hiking, cycling, wildlife watching and boat tours. Adventure Bay is also rich in history as it was visited by many famous explorers such as Abel Tasman, James Cook, William Blake and Matthew Flinders. You can see some of the monuments and memorials along the beach. Number 4. Apollo Bay, Victoria Apollo Bay is a picturesque bay on the Great Ocean Road, one of Australia's most iconic coastal drives. It has a long and curved beach with fine sand and gentle waves, suitable for swimming, surfing and sailing. Apollo Bay is also a gateway to the Otway National Park, a stunning park with diverse landscapes such as rainforests, waterfalls, lakes and caves. One of the highlights of Apollo Bay is the Cape Otway Light Station, the oldest surviving lighthouse in mainland Australia. You can climb to the top and enjoy the panoramic view of the ocean and the coast. Number 3. Rainbow Beach, Queensland Rainbow Beach is a colourful beach on the Kulula Coast, a stretch of coast between Noosa and Fraser Island in Queensland. It is named after its rainbow-coloured sand dunes, which are formed by the erosion of minerals and clay over thousands of years. Rainbow Beach is a popular destination for camping, fishing and four-wheel driving. Rainbow Beach is also a gateway to Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island and a world heritage site. You can take a ferry or scenic flight to explore its natural wonders such as Lake Mackenzie, Ellie Creek and Mahano Shipwreck. Number 2. Boomerang Beach, New South Wales Boomerang Beach is a surfer's paradise on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. It has a crescent-shaped beach with white sand and powerful waves, attracting surfers of all levels. Boomerang Beach is also a great place to relax and unwind, as it has a laid-back atmosphere and a stunning backdrop of green hills and forests. Boomerang Beach is part of Pacific Palms region, which has many other beautiful beaches such as Blueys Beach, Elizabeth Beach and Shelley Beach. The title for the best beach in Australia has formally gone to Western Australia's Misery Beach in 2022, with Cabarita Beach in New South Wales taking the top spot back in 2021. So let's find out which one was the best in 2023. Number 1. Stokes Beach, South Australia Stokes Beach is the winner of the Best Australian Beach of 2023, and it's easy to see why. It is located on Kangaroo Island, an island off the south coast of South Australia. It has a hidden beach that can only be accessed through a tunnel of rocks. Once you get through, you will be rewarded with a breathtaking view of a pristine beach with crystal clear water and soft sand. Stokes Bay is also a haven for wildlife as it is home to many animals such as kangaroos, wallabies, koalas, echidnas and sea lions. After making the New York Times top 10 places in the world to visit this year, Kangaroo Island is again topping the charts due to Stokes Bay being the best beach in 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video on the top 10 beaches of 2023 in Australia. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.